hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel if it's your first time here hi i'm natasha if it's not your first time here bienvenido a casa so in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how i came up with this look this is a simple look very fast you can actually i feel like you can go anywhere with this look so i'm going to be showing you guys how i came up with this and how you can also come up with this after you watch this video make sure to subscribe like comment and share and let's get right into this video <laughs> So I start by brushing my eyebrows with my spoolie just in case they're tangled. Then I begin to draw them with my brown eyebrow pencil. I used brown because we're trying to go for a more natural look. And brown is the best to help you achieve that natural look because it won't look so dark. So you can apply them just as I'm doing. For the lower line, you begin by drawing it a little further from your real eyebrow. And for the upper line, you draw it closer to your real eyebrow. So I actually draw them like this with one way ahead of the other. Because after I've filled it in with my eyebrow pencil, it won't look so drawn or so fake when I begin to brush my eyebrow out with my spoolie all you have to do is take some of the eyebrow pencil that you drew on your eyebrow you start taking it towards that little space that you left in the front because when you feel that in it's not going to look as fake or as drawn then you just start brushing them upwards so they can look more natural and have that more natural look yeah so you just keep filling that in and keep brushing them upwards. So now I have to conceal my eyebrows and, you know, give them the shape I want them to have. And I just use my concealer brush and my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Cool Tan. I use it for, I use it to conceal the lower part of my brows because I want that part to be more highlighted and brighter so i just do it this way and if you feel like you can actually try to do your eyebrows in this way too because i feel like they actually come out looking more accurate yeah so i just keep on drawing that until i feel satisfied with the shape and when i do i just get more of that concealer and just conceal the entire part of my lower eyebrow because i am preparing it for eyeshadow because i put the eyeshadow before the rest of my makeup and i do the same with the other side i first shape it with the same la girl pro concealer in the shade kutan and when i'm satisfied with its shape i will do the same and put more on my lower eyelid mm -hmm. So you just do that because after this I'm going to be putting the eyeshadow so I'm just preparing it. Yeah. So now to conceal the upper part of my eyebrow I use my foundation. And I use my foundation because it's easier when I want to blend out the entire foundation on my face. It won't leave any marks or any concealer lines at the top of my eyebrow. But if you feel you're good with just using your bright concealer for the upper part of your eyebrow, then that's okay. But if you feel it still shows, even when you're blending out your foundation, the best thing is to use your foundation to conceal your upper eyebrow. It works best, and when you're blending out the foundation on your entire face, it will blend in properly. Yeah. So this is how I use it, and I do the same on the other side. I just use my foundation to conceal the upper part of my eyebrow. And so I keep running through with my foundation until I'm satisfied with my shape. Yeah. 
So now to blend that out, I use my beauty blender. I just spray a bit of my finishing spray to allow it to be damp because it works best when it's damp. But you can use water too. Then I just blend everything out, both on the upper part of my eyebrows and the lower part. So after I'm done blending, I just use some of my white face powder and apply it onto my eyelid to prepare a better base for my eyeshadow. I just put that there and I do the same for the other side. This allows and creates a better base for my eyeshadow. So for my eyeshadow, I use my contour palette and my eyeshadow palette because I use the different shades of brown from both palettes. I like how they go together. I use brown because I'm trying to go for a natural look and I don't want to look too flashy. So I just use different shades of brown and just make them look good together. I put some from my eyeshadow palette for the upper part. Then for the lower part, I get it from my contour palette. I do that continuously until I'm satisfied with how the color looks and how natural it goes well with my face and the look I want to achieve. Because I don't want it to look too bright. I want it to look natural. Remember, <laughs> it's a natural look. So I actually decided to put some eyeliner because I just love how it looks. I already put some on the other eye and here I'm just showing you guys how I put it on the other eye. But if you don't prefer putting eyeliner, you don't have to. And if you want to go for a way more natural look, you don't have to put the eyeliner. I put it because it's a preference. But if you wish to put it, always start by applying it from the outside and, go and work towards the inside. Then if you want to clean it up, this is how you can do it by just using your concealer brush and the same concealer you used on your eyebrows and just make it into any shape you want it to be if it didn't work out when you were drawing it. Yeah, and that's it, you fixed it and all you have to do now is just blend it out. And now you have your perfect cat eye. So I actually forgot to apply my primer at the beginning, but at least I moisturized my face with some lotion before I began. And thank God I remembered to apply it at the perfect time before I went any further. So always apply your primer at the beginning because it actually helps your foundation and your concealer to lay well on your face and it actually also prevents some reactions. So after that, I just use my LA Girl Pro Concealer Corrector to cover up any dark marks or spots that I wouldn't want to show. I just place that in all the areas that I feel I would want to correct and cover up. So then I just blend that out in all those areas and spots that I would want to like, you know, cover up. I just blend that out in this particular way and manner. So if you know that some areas that you wouldn't want to show, like maybe under your foundation or under your makeup, you can use your corrector to just, you know, cover them up because it works perfectly. Trust me. Yeah. So I just blended that out in this particular manner and in these particular areas. So I just kept on blending with my beauty blender until I was satisfied with how much I covered up and how it looked. So now for the foundation. You guys, if you are trying to go for a natural look and you don't want it to be so glowy or maybe let's say you're not going out at night. So try your best not to apply too much foundation because it's going to end up looking way too bright. Even if that foundation is actually your skin tone. So I use a flat foundation brush because I feel it actually helps me apply my foundation evenly and it turns out nice and it's faster than using a beauty blender. But use whatever works best for you. But I'd advise you to use a flat foundation brush because it works better for me. Yeah. So I just blend everything out. Make sure you blend everything out, please. Take it even to the neck. Because sometimes after we've applied the foundation, the neck actually stands out with its own skin tone. So you might as well just take some of the foundation towards your neck so that everything just blends out and you don't end up looking like a psychopath. Yeah. Blend that out and look pretty. 
So when I'm done with applying my foundation and I'm actually pleased, I get my concealer brush and with the same concealer I was using for my eyebrows, I place it in these particular areas. And honestly, I don't use too much because I don't want it to look too glowy because remember, we're going for a natural look. So I place it in these particular areas and in this amount because I don't want it to look too bright after I blend it out. I still want the natural look on my face. So I keep putting it in these particular areas. Yeah. Just a little above my lip, a little below my lower lip and just some on my nose some under my eyes and just don't put way too much because the concealer is supposed to use is supposed to be a shade or two shades brighter than your original skin tone so if you put too much it will actually look way too bright so now i just blend out my concealer by tapping on that same specific area where i put my concealer i don't take the concealer to my cheek or anything like that and i use my beauty blender to conceal i do that on my nose my forehead every part where i apply the concealer i just tap with my beauty blender until i feel it has blended out successfully when i'm done blending everything <laughs> i use my la girl pro concealer in the shade dark cocoa to contour my face it actually works it really does work yeah i got this concealer just to use it to contour my face in these particular areas so you might do the same if you feel you like how it will turn out on my face so you can do the same on your face yeah so for my liquid contour i use this concealer in the shade dark cocoa mm -hmm. so now to blend that out you just tap it tap it with your beauty blender or any other brush that you have and just tap that in those same specific particular areas then for my nose i just kind of like smear the concealer to the edges of my nose I smear the concealer that I applied just to the edges of my nose. Not so much where by it even goes uh, to your eyeshadow. No. Now, when I'm satisfied with my contouring, I now bake my face. And to do this, and because of my skin tone, I use my white face powder because it honestly works best for me. I just place it in all the areas where I place the concealer because concealer is to brighten your face. So when you're baking, baking also helps to set your foundation and to brighten up the areas that you wish to be brighter. So the longer you keep your setting powder on your face, the brighter those areas are going to be. That's how it works. So I use my white face powder to bake and I just place it in all the areas where I placed my concealer and I just leave it there for some time for a period of time that I I am okay with. I just keep on placing it where I placed my concealer until I am okay with how I've put it. Then as I leave it to bake, I use the same pencil I used on my eyebrows to line my lips because I do not have lip liner. So I use the same eyebrow pencil that I used as lip liner and it also works like magic. Yeah, I just line my lips and I just wait for the powder I put on my face to bake. So now after I'm satisfied with how long I've kept the powder to bake on my face, I now get my powder brush and a powder that now matches my skin tone. And I use these to brush this white powder off my face. So you use your powder brush and a powder that now matches your skin tone to brush the powder you are using to bake your face off your face. Uh, 
as I am doing in the video. So just keep on going, keep on brushing that powder you are using to bake your face. Keep on brushing it off your face until you feel you are comfortable with how it's looking and you like how it's looking. So when you're done with this, you can actually put some highlighter if you wish, some blush if you wish. I didn't put any of that because I just felt like I want my face to look like so. Then I got my contour palette. <laughs> And I just use two specific colors to contour every area that I contoured with my liquid concealer. I use that as my liquid contour. Now I'm using this contour palette as my powder contour. And I just place it in all the areas that I contoured with my concealer. So when you're done with this, you might as well just spray your face with some finishing spray and put some lip gloss on. So this is the finished look. Thanks for watching, guys. Please share, subscribe, and like. And catch me in my next video. Bye.